Hey guys, John here with Terminal Goblin Games, and today is going to be a two-part episode. I'm going to show you how to fix not having text in Amazing Cultivation Simulator on Linux, and I'm also going to walk you through how I fixed it. You see, I had this issue, I downloaded the game from GOG, I ran it in Wine via Lutris, and there was, there was no text, as you could see. So, you know, I looked around, and then there was nothing on the internet that I saw about this issue. And I looked on ProtonDB, and it did apparently worked fine if you bought it from Steam, but that didn't help me. So I'm going to show you how I how I went through fixing this myself, and that way, if you run into something like this, you too can fix it, and then you know make a video and and help other people. If you just want to fix your game because you you got cultivation to do, then I'm going to put a timestamp on screen that you can look at, uh, and I'll also put some timestamps in the description. I, I think YouTube auto picks it up. I don't know if Odyssey does or not. But either way, let's get into it. So, thinking about how fonts are on, you know, on computers, they read from a .ttf file. So for something to have trouble showing fonts, or for the fonts to not show up, that means it's either missing the .ttf file, uh, or it doesn't have access to it. Now, it could just have trouble, like, rendering it on the screen, but, uh, let's, let's go with the, let's go with Occam's Razor. So here I have the files opened up in a file explorer. I'm using Thunar, if you want to know. And I'm going to poke around until I find something about TTF files. Or After a little bit of poking around, I found this font.txt. So I opened it up here in Emacs, and you see that it's Microsoft, Microsoft Yahai? I, I don't, I don't exactly know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Okay, so that's, that's something, we're onto something here. So now I'm going to go back to Lutris and open up Wine Trick and go to install a font. I look through the list here and you see that Microsoft Yahai isn't in here, so uh, I just threw a kind of did a Hail Mary here and installed all fonts, uh, which may take a while. And it, after giving it a minute or two to install, it's opened back up Amazing Cultivation Simulator. And there we go. As you see, we now have all of our fonts. We can read. If you have font in your native language and you still can't read, then how did you find this channel? <laughs> Anyways, that is all we have for today. Uh, that actually turned out a lot shorter than I thought. Um, of course, this took me longer when I first did it because I had to, uh, you know, poke around and find it and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully this helps you solve some of your own problems. And I hope that if you come across an issue that you don't find in an internet search, that you make something like this to, to help other people. That's the, that's the whole point of Libre Software. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to comment. Uh, if I did, you know, could have did something better, tell me. Absolutely. And I uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you later.